enough. Do you think enough can happen in eight games that they will not draft or acquire another quarterback next year? I, I don't think. I don't think it can't. No, I don't think it can't. But I do think that you can win a job for the first eight games of next year. I don't like that we've just we we just take away a guy's opportunity after five games. As we said, we're looking at the schedule, and as we said with everything, and just the growth, mm -hmm. you know, just the growth. Why not? If this kid can go out and win three games, two, and not, I don't even want to put wins on it, because we all know. If he can go out and look like a real NFL quarterback. Bingo. How's that? I want that guy to be the guy that takes all the snaps in, the, in OTAs. I yeah. want that guy to take the first snaps in the first preseason game, second preseason game. Then I want him to go out, you know, I want him to get treated like a starting quarterback. And then if he can't do it, and we're sitting here on November 7th, 8th of 2018, and we go, hey, you go back and you learn from I would have no problem with that, Jeff. Matter of fact, I would prefer that. And maybe he else. becomes Matthew Stafford exactly. or Eli Manning exactly. or Alex Smith or any of these other guys who just were not good right. in their first year and then became yes. very good NFL quarterbacks. I think that's the only way that I think it's the only way that it would be fair. I know preaching patience to the Cleveland Browns fan base is very difficult and very tough right now. But I think this is part of the issue that the Browns continue to have, especially if, if Things were to change upstairs and downstairs once again. I get it. Everybody comes in and they want their own guy. But if you've drafted this kid and you've put this much time into him, be fair to him.